Four, and this is 10 reasons why I choose to eat fruits over vegetables. Now you might be wondering, why would somebody want to eat fruits over vegetables? What could they possibly get from fruits that they don't get from vegetables? Aren't vegetables more healthy than fruit? And while vegetables are better for you than most of the alternatives that we have to eat out there, I'm going to inform you on why fruit is a better choice for the overall health of the body you live in. Okay? So, number one. Enzyme-rich living foods. They have a higher percentage of enzymes in them that makes digestion much easier on your body, which will then give you much more energy to take care of other bodily processes that are necessary for survival and to age better and for overall health. Number two, I like the fruity colors. The colors make me happy. I see color, I'm drawn to it. It's just nature's own way of giving us an intuitive feeling of what to go for. Or, when intuition fails, color prevails. That's the new saying, when intuition fails, color prevails. So you eat by the color code. When you see, it's not like you see a colorful butterfly though and you go and eat a butterfly. No, it's not like that. It's more along the lines of, you see a fruit, nature's gift, hanging from a tree, and this is kind of a segue into the third one. You see a fruit hanging from a tree and it's nature's God's gift to mankind. Why would you process, why would you cook anything when nature provides you with food? Right off the tree, that is number three, high water. So a high amount of water in your food means you stay hydrated and you don't have to consume water outside of drinking it. Or rather, you don't have to drink extra water because you're consuming a lot of it. That's what I meant to say. Now, number four. Number four has to be, I like how nutritious it is, how balanced it is. All of the flavonoids, alkaloids, nutrients, the astringent properties of it. I guess you could say that several right there, several reasons. But the astringent properties, number five. That is a big reason why we choose to eat fruit, because the astringent powers of fruit pulls and removes all the toxins from your body that have been accumulating. What could be accumulating in your body? Well, acid ashes that are left from foods that create an acidic ash. Where do you find these ashes? Where do you find these acidic cellular poop? The poop of your cells. You find it in interstitial areas, you find it in the lymphatic system, you find it in the walls of your intestines, generally. You find it everywhere throughout your body. So when we're thinking health, we must think cellularly. Because there are 100 trillion cells in your body, all that eat and poop the same way you and I do. That's right. Get your head around that. And get back to me, Jack. So, number six. Come on, help me out here. What's six reasons? Number sixth reason? I would say the ethics, the code of ethics that goes along with eating fruit. I'm not killing anything. God gifted. Nature created fruit as an easy source, readily available for us to pick off a tree, peel, and eat. That's easy enough. That's a good enough reason, I'd say. What are we on? Number seven? Number seven. Ah. Uh, how about when you the the angstrom quality? So when you pick a tree, any tree, and you go and find fruit on it, like if you can see this tree right here, you can't really see the fruit on it, but there are oranges hanging off that tree, clementines. Now they're not very ripe; they're overripe. They actually went to waste, which is a Damn, that makes me sad. But just say any of these coconut trees you see, uh, even right here. You see that coconut tree? Well, the, the, the sooner, or the more rapidly, or the, the sooner you eat a fruit once it's been picked off a tree, the more angstroms are in, or the higher on the angstroms table, the highest being 10,000, 
will be the energy force, the life force that you will consume from that food. That being the electrical value, the electrical magnetic life force value that resonates, that came from the source of the tree, from the roots in the ground, came up to the fruit and lost and found. You put it in your mouth and you'll be sure that you won't put it on the shelf because the longer it sits on the shelf, the more the less energy it will have means less energy you will have means eat your fruit off the tree as soon as you can if you want to be pleased by the people that make me want to get up in the morning to do what I gotta do make you healthy by the things I do by making this rap as I get it out get all the crap out of my cellular levels I gotta make sure that I let you know how I get my days done so just having fun here and trying to do things that are a little different, get me out of my comfort zone. So number eight, eight reasons. What's number eight? This is a lot more difficult when you don't have it written down in front of you. And I tried to make this video yesterday indoors and wasn't able to successfully do so based on the fact that it's just a horrible environment in the house to actually do that. Uh, the eighth reason I choose to eat fruit over vegetables, well, I'll just pull one off the top of my head. It, uh, nature's laws, or what was created on this planet for me to eat, hangs from the trees. It doesn't grow in the ground. It grows and hangs off trees, and it tastes sweet to my taste buds. And there's no process of cooking. Nature is perfect the way it is. It's just we've removed ourselves far from nature and decided we wanted to cook foods that were stimulating and suppressive all at the same time. And oppressive, really. Diets being oppressive. Oppress the people with the foods they eat. Give them something cooked and they'll, they'll be like dead meat. So eat dead meat, eat cooked garbs, you know, all these things. So number nine. Hmm. Come on, there's got to be a ninth reason. Think quick. Uh, makes my skin, my teeth, my hair, my nails. Makes my body smell good. So it makes me have stronger, stronger tissues, stronger all sorts of tissues because there's so many different tissues of the body. Better muscular tissue, tissue, better skin tissue. I think that's epithelial. That could be the thin the layer right underneath. Uh, I'm not sure on the exact classification of the tissues, but we have, you know, bone density, all these things. And I think we're on number 10. If I jump to number 9, then you'll have to make you'll have to tell me to make another video. Uh, but number 10, drum roll. Just keep that drum roll going while I think of one. And I know they come from trees. And I love trees because they give life. Without trees, we wouldn't have all this oxygen. Without trees, we wouldn't have all this fruit. Without trees, what would hold the earth and root? What would roots do if they didn't have trees? You know? They would just sit there and absorb. And we would have no fruit. If you don't enjoy fruit, then don't eat it. But I've just given you 10 good reasons why eating fruit would add value. Add value to your life. I guarantee if you eat fruit for a week, you'll be feeling twice the person you used to. Now you may go through some dips, some ups and some downs of energy, and you may also go through some old sicknesses. But what's better than getting what's in you out of ya? Nothing's better than getting the crap out, okay? If you live in a house that has tons of trash bags, you're gonna be a trashy, smelly person. If you get everything out, and if you eat clean, and if you keep your house organized, then you're gonna be a, a good smelling, good Samaritan person that helps your neighbor. Now, what is it that fruit doesn't do for you? Maybe you could answer me what fruit doesn't do for you. Maybe it's, I don't know, I can't think of any reasons, but I'll leave you on that. This is Matthew Malore. Subscribe to my channel, like me, on my channel, leave a comment below or friend me on Facebook.
and we'll go from there. If you have any health questions, I'd love to help you out. If you have any concerns, I'd be there for you in a heartbeat. So this is Matthew Malor. Find me on, fret, on Facebook, if you please. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.